Um, we're hoping that today is going to be informative, quite full on, but also relaxed. So you'll hear from a fantastic lineup. Um, they'll be talking about their own career paths, the challenges they've faced along the way, and give you some insights into what industry um, and actively recruiting employers are currently looking for. So to officially open this event, I'd like to introduce Laura Blair. So Laura is our Director of Employment. She's a former army officer who made the transition to civilian employment in um, 2012, I think it was, Laura. So I'll hand over to you now. Brilliant, Esme, thank you. Morning all, I'm absolutely delighted to welcome you to our flagship Women Into Employment event. It's a really important event here for us at the Officers Association and, and for me as a veteran myself. And to have a wide ranging audience of female service leavers, officers and other ranks, veterans, reservists, military spouses, women in business and military friendly employers in attendance is just fantastic. I want to thank all our sponsors and supporters, including our headline sponsor, Jacobs, um, our participating sponsors, JP Morgan Chase, Braze, Goldman Sachs, London Business School and Balfour Beatty and our associate sponsors, MOD Defence Equipment and Support and Elbit Systems UK. I also want to thank our supporters, the Career Transition Partnership, RFEA, the Forces Employment, Charity, Recruit for Spouses and Ex-Forces Enterprise. I'd like to thank each of our speakers taking part today as well. And I'd also like to extend our thanks to Baroness Martha Lane Fox, who provided a video forward supporting the event. And hopefully you will have seen that in the programme that we released yesterday. We at the Officers Association are running this event to firstly coincide with International Women's Day, a chance to celebrate all the achievements of women across the world and the contributions they've made to social, economic, cultural and political advancements but we're also running it to recognise the importance of a commissioned project by Forces in Mind Trust that explored the transition that UK female service leavers make from the armed forces to civilian employment. The research gave us previously unknown insights into the employment outcomes of female service leavers and found that they can face a double whammy when looking for employment after leaving the armed forces. They face the same challenges experienced by all service leavers, as well as those faced by women in British society more generally. However, once in employment, employers speak exceptionally high of female service leavers and service leavers in general, valuing skills such as strong organisation, forward planning, leadership and self-motivation. The research provides valuable information to inform transition and access to career opportunities moving forward, as well as being valuable for stakeholders like the Officers Association who operate in the employment space. If you're a service leaver, veteran, reservist or spouse planning your next career move, today's event is a chance to build your network of supportive employers, contacts and industry champions, enabling you to find a sustainable and really fulfilling next career and role. You'll hear from business leaders, employment experts and inspirational women who've successfully transitioned from military to civilian employment. You'll also gain an insight into what employers are looking for from their employees and why they're actively recruiting from the ex-military and spouse talent pool. And if you're a woman in business or a military friendly employer, it's a chance to hear about the significant skill set service leavers, veterans, reservists and spouses can bring to your business and how they can add real value across a wide range of industry sectors and roles. At the Officers Association, we're exceptionally proud to be running this event and the programme is varied, topical, interesting and thought provoking. And I hope you all enjoy it and I hope you gain a great deal from it. Thank you very much indeed. Esme, back over to you. Lovely. Thank you, Laura. Um, and yes, I definitely I just want to reinforce that message of thanks, especially to our sponsors. Um, as you will all be aware, Jacobs, the global engineering firm, are our headline sponsor for this event. Um, and without them, we just we definitely wouldn't be here running this much needed conference. So thank you. As such, I'm delighted to introduce Dr. Justin Goldberg, Jacobs Vice President of Defence and Security. So Justin will be able to further explain why the partnership with the OA and the wider military community is so important to Jacobs and why they value this talent pool. So over to you, Justin. Thank you. So good morning. Uh, my, my name is Justin Goldberg. My pronouns are he and him. 
it's a it's a real it's a real privilege and uh, an honour to to be here and to to uh, speak at the start of this great event, which we're delighted to sponsor. Uh, I'm the vice president, as, as we said, for the Jacob Defence and Security business that covers our work in the UK, Europe, and the Middle East, uh, and it's about a hundred million pounds in revenue uh, within our wider critical mission solutions line of business. In addition, uh, and actually probably more importantly. I'm actually one of our executive sponsors for our inclusion and diversity action plan. Uh, and that, that perhaps gives some of the sense of why this, this, this event and is, is so important to us and uh, why we're really, really keen to be uh, looking for ways to bring uh, great diversity into our, into our business. Uh, I feel very privileged to be able to say a few words at the start of this event, uh, for which I'm very proud that Jacobs is the headline sponsor. Just before I provide a brief introduction, I'm, I'm going to just, uh, about who Jacobs are, just in case people aren't familiar with us, I'd just like to share a culture of caring moment with you first. And, and this is really important to me and, uh, and to the ethos of our company. So we, we, have, we have really, really had a, a, a view to challenge the attitudes and views around mental health we want to normalize it and allow people to normalize the ability to talk about and to allow people to be able to raise issues and to help look after their own and others mental health and well-being it's, it's part of our uh, culture of caring it's part of our well-being drive uh, I, I myself for example i'm a positive mental health champion and we became very concerned about the, the pressures that particularly the last year with lockdown have brought to people and about the increasing strain and challenge it was putting onto people. And so our, our team working with some medical experts uh, and taking advantage of uh, a fantastic set of algorithms and databases had developed a tool called One Million Lives. And it's a very simple online app. It's free to use, free for everybody that you can just log into, you set up a password, you set up your own login and password, there's no connections to any companies, and it gives you a set of questions. And you know, the long log, the long check-in in comes is 75 questions, it takes about 15 minutes, and then you can do a daily check-in of a few other questions, few questions, and it just gives you some ideas of uh, maybe some issues you're not aware of. It talks around if you're having problems sleeping, it helps to identify what may be some of the causes, but more importantly, it sets out some uh, ideas and thoughts about what you might do to help address that. And it's a really, really good way of just allowing yourself to recognize what's really happening and to be aware of some, some any issues. You know, my, my mother passed away at the start of January. I've taken on a new role that was clearly stressful but i didn't realize that some of the other issues that might be underpinning all that and so it allowed me to have a look at that to chat to my wife about it and i've you know my wife's done done it as well we've shared it with our friends so i would just advocate this it's it's there the link's there and uh it, it's a really powerful tool to help all of us and then to help open up a conversation if you need it it can also really ultimately help save somebody's life if they're looking at this and, and that's the idea of the one million lives is to touch a million lives and to really help people. So I wanted to start with that. I think it's relevant for the, what we're talking about today about how we're looking after people. So this slide, if I move on, just gives a picture of Jacobs, uh, sums up who we are in pictures. Our origins are in engineering construction, but we've now moved to become really a consultancy and solutions company, but still providing that multidisciplinary engineering, project management, construction services, digital expertise, sustainability solutions. And we provide that to governments, uh, including the MOD in the UK, to the private sector and to defense clients globally. In the UK, and I'm not gonna pick on everything, uh, this is just a sort of a teaser for people, but you know, in the UK, we are really proud that we, we make a massive contribution to the defense of the realm. We provide critical support to our continuous at sea deterrence uh, supporting the infrastructure works up at the naval bases of Clyde, Barrow and Devonport, for example. We do safety assurance of the submarine's reactor. Uh, we're supporting on the F-35 program. Uh, if, and, and just the reason we've got a picture of the jackal there is that we're, we're helping to look at the tran transformation of that into a hybrid vehicle to help the, the mod achieve its net zero carbon uh, goal by 2050. So that's about the sustainability. 
uh, was supporting on the uh, uh, on, on reactor builds, for example, if I move away from defense for a second, so we're supporting on uh, the traditional uh, fission, so that's Hinkley Point C, we're supporting fusion, that's the ITER. We're, we're supporting some critical other projects such as High Speed 2. So, you know, we, we are really making a major contribution to infrastructure and other projects across, across the, the UK and actually globally. Uh, interesting enough, we've just actually seen the launch of our first Jacobs built satellite that's called Mango One. Uh, and actually on, on the, the middle left, you can actually see the pitch for our new, newest remote site, that's Mars. Because actually through our work for NASA, we're one of the biggest uh, consultants and engineering contractors working for NASA. Uh, we've actually provided all the advanced engineering, some testing and evaluations, operations, IT, communications, and in particular, remote and autonomous operations to support the Perseverance Mars Rover program. So it's a, it's a really exciting company. It's really exciting what we do. So that's what we do, but who are we? So if we go on to the next slide, this really sums up who we are in terms of our ethos and our culture. We are, we want to be, we aspire to be a company like no other. We're defined by our four core values. So we do things right. It's about acting with integrity. It's about taking responsibility for our work, for caring for people and staying focused on safety, well-being, sustainability. You know, we, we've, we've moved to a, a, what we call a triple bottom line. It's about investing in people, partnerships and places so that we can actually contribute to the society around us and grow together. And, and, and all this reflects our absolute commitment to integrity, ethical behavior, uh, and embracing things like caring and sustainability. And that's just who we are. We, we so if we can go back to the previous slide, we challenge the accepted, thank you. Uh, we, we know that we need to, to create a better future. We have to always look at better ways of doing things, how we can drive innovation. We aim higher, this is about challenging mediocrity and just looking at what we can do to deliver better, to raise the bar, to always be striving for flawless execution and then to look to do better. And that drives growth for our people as much as for our business. Uh, and finally on this slide, we live inclusion. It's at the heart of our business. And this is really getting into the, the why we're so proud to sponsor this. We want to drive that inclusion to bring diverse thinking in terms of visionaries, thinkers, doers, you know, that broader spread just makes us a better organization, allows us to deliver better. At the heart of it, we want to drive value for our people and our clients and for our organizations we support it's, and our community. It's about challenging day today to reinvent tomorrow. And if we move on to the next slide, our thanks. That's why it ties into uh, this event. And it's so appropriate this week with the uh, International Women's Day being on Monday and their theme for this year being Choose to Challenge. And this really explains why we want to sponsor. Uh, we have made a commitment to drive inclusion and diversity so that everybody can bring the best of themselves to us to, into work. We want to achieve a goal of 40, 40, 20. That's 40% women, 40% men, and 20% other. Uh, and you know, we want to achieve it by 2025. And a, and a key part that also ties into our commitment to supporting the military uh, as a, a, a gold award of the Armed Forces Covenant and supporting former veterans uh, into new employment. So if we go on to the final slide, please. We recognize that there are, and we understand that the real challenges have already been touched on this morning that we are faced by former service personnel and particularly service women when they're coming into employment and developing their second careers. We've developed a number of initiatives to support to support that process. So Project Soft Landing, it's about helping former service personnel to make the leap. And it includes helping them to interpret their military experience, their skills and capabilities into the requirements of companies like Jacobs. It helps them to settle into the new role. We recognize it's a different environment. Our Bridge the Gap program is all about helping people on long-term parental leave to maintain their links with their parent company and to maintain the currency of their skills and capabilities. All these and other issues we discussed further with you this afternoon by a number of my colleagues that include a number of former service women and they will share with you their own experiences. So I hope that you find what they say as inspiration as I have. I thank you for your time and hope you have a great day. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you, Justin. It's fantastic to hear from you. Um, and we're looking forward to hearing from the wider Jacobs team um, later today.